In today's video, I am going to be breaking down some simple basketball plays that you can run with younger basketball players. So let's get down, let's check this out really quickly. Make sure to go check out my complete guide to the five out basketball offense. That's some of the easiest plays that you can run. Okay, let's get down, let's check these plays out. So this first play is a three out, two in basketball offense. This is the type of offense that you would run if you've got some larger players who could bang around essentially in the low post and get some easy layups. First, what we're going to be looking to do in this first play is to have player three set a screen on player one, and at the same time, we're going to have player four set a screen on player five. After they set those screens, what we're going to be looking to see is player one, of course, using that screen. He can, of course, pull up for a mid-range shot, a three-point shot if your players can reach that far when it comes to shooting, or looking for player five who is cutting to this low post. The benefit to this play is you could run it almost like a motion offense. So for example, let's say everyone is covered. There's no player who is open. You can't get that ball, let's say, to the low post. At this time, we can either reverse that ball, which tends to be sometimes a risky pass, a wing to point pass that somehow is a very risky pass, gets intercepted a few times. So what you could do is, of course, that wing wing to point pass I, sh I might have said post earlier but that wing to point pass and then if player three passes over to this side same idea what we will have is player three setting that screen for player one and then player one can then fill that top player four again can then screen on this side and player five could then fill here and of course we have a few different options we can have a shot for player one or of course a pass to the low post for player five Instead of that, you could also run, we'll put these players back to where they were, the exact same play as before, which as soon as that ball gets passed to the point, we'll have player two set that screen for player three. Again, same idea for setting that screen for player five. Player five using that screen, player three using that screen, and of course, player three could pull for the shot or pass to player five, again, in the low post. There's a few different options that you can run. And that can depend, obviously, as well on the skill level and knowledge of basketball of your team. Now, going to the five-out offense, which tends to be the easiest offense that you can run, you can run pass and screen for and screen away or pass and cut. And if you don't know what these are, really quickly, basically, player one passes, let's say, to player three, and he has three different options. He can cut towards the basket, he can set a screen for the player he passed to, or he can set a screen away to the player who is on the opposite side of where he passed. If he cuts to the basket, if he's open, definitely hit him up for potentially a layup. And then, of course, if he's not, player two would then fill the top, player four would then fill the wing, and player one would then fill out towards that corner. Now, let's say it's pass and screen four, Player three can pass to player two, and he wants to screen for the player he passed to. And of course, player two would then, of course, use that screen. Player three would then roll towards the basket. If he's open, you could hit him up for a layup. If he is not open, and let's say he's covered really well, player four again would then go to the top. Player one would then fill the wing. Player three would then pop out. And of course, you can then run the same play or you can run pass and screen away so for example if player two passes to player whoops to player four then he would set a screen for player five player five would then use that screen if he's open for a three he could shoot that three or player two could roll towards the basket and maybe open for the layup now at this point this can be your own coach's discretion you can have it so that Player two pops out and fills that spot, or he can set that screen away, and player three could then cut across the key. Could be a layup. If not, he fills out. Player two fills out, and then you can continue to run that same five out offense. Five out is very versatile and very easy to run. You can also run simple set plays out of that five out. So for example, you could have player one here set a pin down screen, and player five set a pin down screen. After they set those pin down screens, player three would then use that screen and player two uses that screen. And then you may have some players open for three point shots or what you're really actually hoping for is some mismatches down low for the screens or the defenders I should say 
to then of course switch if there's a switch on that and let's say there's a coach that is teaching their players to switch everything which is my dream because I wish I could find a coach I know they exist because my players that I coached this past summer said that their coaches always told them to switch everything but that is a coach's dream on this play because as soon as they switch there's going to be a mismatch down low and of course you can take advantage if you've got a five foot five player being guarded by a three foot nine player that is a massive advantage and you need to be able to take advantage now a simple play that you could run if you find that you're going up against a zone defense or you find that you're going up against multiple zone defenses one of the easiest plays to run is high to low post passes so of course a real zone that's ran properly should not have anybody outside of the three-point line, especially at the youth level, but as soon as they do, you want to be able to attack that because that's going to collapse other players and you can kick it out for some easy shots. But what you can run is a four-out, one-in offense, super simple. You can even have it start with player five in the low post. Player five cuts to the high post. You get that entry pass into player five that will draw that middle defender up. What you want to see now is player four and three. You want them to be crossing along the baseline. This will then, of course, potentially drop those players and you may be able to get a pass to one of those two players who are cutting or crossing along the baseline underneath the basket for an easy high to low post pass. That's essentially what your dream would be. If they're not available, then of course, you can have them pop back out. You can potentially pass to that wing player. That'll draw out that zone. And of course, at this time, you can have player one cut to the basket. That's going to draw player five down. You could potentially have a pass to the high post. Again, pass to the low post. Kind of like a nice checkers play. But really, what you're trying to do is nice, quick, fast passes. So you can get that basket close to the rim. So make sure to go check out my complete guide to the five out basketball offense down in the description below. It's a super simple offense to run with your team, especially if you're coaching kids. Anyways, I hope that you've enjoyed. I'll see you guys again next time. Hit that like button and subscribe.